How many of you have run into that inevitable production with the bad audio day? Yes, you know what I mean, that day that's worse than bad hair day, which I don't have that problem, but I've run into the same audio problems as well, and we're very excited that tonight we have our friends from Isotope back with us, and we have with us Mike Thornton, who's going to tell you how you can rescue your bad audio and be the audio superhero that each and every one of you are. So ladies and gentlemen, warm welcome to Mike Thornton. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I work in audio all the time. I'm a professional audio post-production specialist. Uh, I use Isotope every day um, to uh, save my life and save my client's life. You know the situation. We'd all love to have full crews go out, sound recordist, boom operator, so we get all good sound every time. But the realities are we're not there anymore. There isn't the budgets. So many of the documentaries, including the one that we're going to be using to demonstrate some of the new features today, are all self-shot. You're the cameraman, you're the sound recordist, you're doing your best you can, but ultimately the reality is when we get back into the edit, some of the audio isn't as good as we would like it to be. And um, today, I have my glamorous assistant, Matt Hines from Isotope. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, Matt, tell us a little bit about uh, what we've got here. Sure. Um, so, just to put it into context, uh, Mike here is our guy that's using this day in, day out. Um, and I work for Isotope, which makes RX. Now, some of you were here last year, I know, we've, we've met, we've caught up. Uh, for those of you that weren't and you've never heard of RX, um, it is both a standalone application, it's cross-platform, Carlos would be very happy about that. Um, it's also a suite of plugins and they basically fix all of these problems Mike is uh, listing and also is going to demonstrate. You know, things like, who, I mean, who's had problems with background noise, for instance? Distortion, clicks, coughs, you know, you can g go on. Um, so we're going to be looking at a bunch of those problems today. Um, so I just wanted to chime in and say, um, you know, it is both the standalone application and the suite of plugins. We're in Pro Tools. If you're in Media Composer, Final Cut, Premiere Pro, Vegas, uh, Sony Vegas, it all works in there too, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, and if there are any questions uh, afterwards, we also have a table. So definitely uh, come check us out. Um, so Mike, what, what do we actually have here? What's uh, up on the screen? Okay, so we've got Pro Tools running, and the first thing that I want to point out is part of the new RX4, which was only released on Thursday, so this is absolutely brand new off the presses, is this new RX4 Connect plugin. And so here we can now send material straight to the standalone application. Before in RX2, RX3, we had a range of plugins within uh, Pro Tools within Final Cut, within uh, Media Composer, which covered some of the features that RX offers, but by no means all of them. And so if we needed to use the full forensic f features of RX, we then had to export the files out of Pro Tools, bring them into RX, work on them, bring them back. It was not as smooth a workflow as would be ideal. Not anymore. So, um, Matt, if you take us to the first uh, example. The pool deck itself is also a, a functioning, working pool deck. And you need to be aware that it, it's not. So, I don't know, some of you may well be able to hear that there is some high frequency buzz in this clip. And so, but of course, we can't see that. We may be able to hear it. So, what we can do is we've highlighted the clip here. And then we're going to send it to, our, to Isotope RX. And it's switched over automatically. I haven't, we haven't had to switch the software. That's happened automatically. So Matt, again, if you just play this clip a little bit. The pool deck itself is also a, a functioning, working pool deck. So again, you may or may not be able to hear those high frequency buzzes. So if we change the display over here, so we start to introduce 
the spectrogram. Now, for those of you that are more visually orientated, you can start to see what the audio is doing. So these bright patches here, that's actually part of the speech. But the problem that we have here is these lines here. Very clear, distinct, high frequency elements. So what we can do is we can highlight over these, just as you might do in Photoshop, and highlight certain sections to repair them. So we can highlight those, and then we can use the spectral repair module, and we can process that, and shazam, they're gone. So the now, pool deck itself is also a, a functioning, working pool deck. Hey, presto, no problems. It's that simple. The great thing, although I'm an audio specialist, you don't need to have done a degree in audio post-production to use these tools. So you, as video editors that have got some experience in sound, you can go ahead and fix those problems. And now we can send it back to Pro Tools and we can replace the problem clip by hitting the render button, and there we go, the problem is fixed back on the Pro Tools timeline. So you can see now, it's so much easier to take audio out of Pro Tools, out of Media Composer, out of Final Cut, bring it into the standalone application for uh, Isotope RX4, do the work, and bring it back. So, the next little problem that I'm going to show you is a classic problem. So we've got these two clips here. And if we just play this, and if you just look at the video up here. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bird, and welcome to my world. So there is Jonathan perched on a rock. But the problem is that the video editor cut this so tight that there is no ambience, there is no sea wash sound anywhere other than when he is talking. Doesn't sound very pretty. Normally what I would have to do is go hunting through the rushes, hunting through the material in the hope that I might find a little bit of clear audio that matches the sea wash and then cut it in and fill that gap, cut it in and go before, cut it in and go afterwards and hope that it all matches. But so often, there is either no clean Atmos, or if there is any clean Atmos, it doesn't match where we are now. So what we can do is we can highlight from a little bit before to a little bit afterwards, use the repair function, send it to, Pro Tool, send it to RX, then it'll open up in RX, so there's our two clips. Now what we can do is to use the new Ambience Match plugin, which is a brand new module in RX4 Advanced. And we can get RX4 Advanced to learn the Atmos, the background in those effects. We can, if we choose to listen to just the output Ambience, we can preview this and watch what happens. You can hear the sea wash but you can't hear the dialogue. So we've created that Atmos. So if we just uncheck that now and hit the Process button, it fills in the gaps. It's intelligent enough to work out that there is already sea wash in the two clips, so it doesn't add to it. It works out the transitions, merges it. We can bring it back into Pro Tools. We can put the fades on the beginning and on the end. And now we've got a perfectly matched bit of audio. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bird, and welcome to my world. So you can see that ha how the RX4 Connect plugin, how the ambience match just fixes a problem that would have taken me 10, 15 minutes to fix before. Now I can do it in 30 seconds. So the next little problem that we have um, often is that the levels of a recording, even something like this, the top track here, the voiceover, you can see here that some of them are a bit louder than others. So what we can do now, again, a brand new module introduced into RX4 Advanced, is the leveler module. So we can highlight the whole track, 
all the documentary, the, all the voiceover clips in the whole 12-minute documentary. We can ship those out into RX. We can bring them, and it brings it into RX. So you can see there, there are all the clips. If we just show the waveform, so you can see again, some are louder than others. Now, we could take this new feature that's in RX4 and RX4 Advanced, the clip gain. We could take that, and we could manually adjust these various points, but there's a better solution. In RX4 Advanced, we've got this leveler module, and what we can do is we, it will analyze the whole thing. You can see here that it's given us a value for the average loudness of all those clips. We can use the presets. So again, you don't need a degree in audio engineering to work out how to use it. So what I tend to do is to look at that total RMS figure and set my target to about the same. Because the chances are that what that will do is it will make some of them the loud ones a little bit quieter, the quieter ones a little bit louder. And it doesn't just do it clip by clip base, it basis, it works within the clip. So if somebody just drops the voice at the end of the sentence, it compensates for that. So if we now just process that as we are, at the end what we'll see is this clip gain line will have a whole load of set of, of anchors. And so if we zoom in here, you can see how it's picked up the drops at the end of sentences, picked up various points, smoothed out the levels. When we can send it back into Pro Tools, and when it goes back into Pro Tools, we then have a complete voiceover track. All the levels will be nice and even, but the great thing is that it doesn't squash the life out of it. This is not a compressor just taking away all the dynamic range. The more I get to use the Leveler plugin, the more I f feel it really still gives me a very natural sounding dialogue, a very natural sounding voiceover. But because we we've managed the levels, when we put music or sound effects underneath the voiceover, they sit nicely on top of the, of the voiceover, sits really well on top of the music, on top of it, because we've, we've made the levels more consistent. And we don't have to spend ages drawing through the volumes, evening it all out. You saw how long it did, or how quickly it did it, for 12-minute documentary. So that is the leveler module. Makes life so much easier. So, the next little problem that we have is distortion. You know the situation, you were recording, you didn't, because you're also looking down the camera lens, you didn't notice that some of the audio was clipped, so we end up with this little problem here. And let's go ahead and swim EV1 over to Z1 to, to check out EV2's APFR. So you get that really crunchy, horrible, distorted sound. So again, we can highlight that clip, we can send it to our X, and you can actually see here that the tops have been chopped off, the clipped off the waveform. It's classic distortion where it's being clipped. It's a bit like the whites being crushed in, in video. So we need to, but the way we fix it is to effectively reconstruct what would have happened if the tops hadn't been chopped off. So we use the declick the declip module. There's a great feature here where you can learn, and you see these white lines, and then it does a, so you get these white lines. That's the distortion point. So the great thing about the suggest button is it sets that to the correct place. So again, you don't need a degree in audio engineering to use this, to understand it. It suggests the correct setting, and then when you're happy, we hit the process button, and wham, all the, tops have been restored. When we're happy with that, we can send it back to Pro Tools, back in the track, and there we are, distorted, and then, and then undistorted. Very, very and nice. Let's go ahead and swim EV1 over to... And there we go. So we can fix those horrible, distorted bits of audio and save the day yet again. And... Let's go ahead and swim EV1 over to Z1 to... So there we go. So that's the D-clip. So we haven't had a huge amount of time to, uh, 
to talk about. Matt, what are the other key things that, we, that you've added to, uh, to RX4 and RX4 Advanced? Sure. Uh, well, there's a, a lot of new features, um, some of which we've already talked to a few of you about at the table, um, and some of which we haven't had time to yet. Uh, one of the other new things we've added is a module for EQ matching, because you might be listening to that and saying, well, the distortion's gone, but it still doesn't sound as nice as the voiceover or the lav mic or the, you know. And anyone who's ever had a camera mic, a shotgun mic, a lav mic, uh, an SM7 voiceover mic, uh, they sound different. Uh, and so just like ambience match was a two-click learn and process, we also have an EQ match that will do that for microphones. So if anyone wants to come by the table and see us do that on this clip or another clip, uh, we're just outside. Um, we have also uh, a new loudness module. Um, now, obviously, uh, a lot of us here are actually working in video. Um, but if anyone out there is, is also responsible for delivering that final project or the, the audio mix uh, to any kind of a, a TV network for broadcast, uh, and you're worried about loudness compliance. It doesn't matter where in the world you're from. We have a module that's just, again, one click, and it will make sure that you're loudness compliant. Because the great, the great thing is, is in the loudness module, they've set up a same range of presets. So you choose, if you're in Europe, we need R128. If you're in America, you need ATSC 85. You don't even need to worry what the specs say. You just set the preset, and away it goes. It will make that clip loudness compliant. We also have, um, just real quick, who saw us demonstrate last year? Awesome. Um, who remembers, uh, and it's okay if you don't, but who remembers the dialogue denoiser? Awesome. And who maybe uses the dialogue denoiser? Even better. Okay. Some people out there. So uh, we actually now, at the time, we were saying the dialogue denoiser is this big, brand new feature. It's awesome. It's fantastic. It's zero latency, automatic noise reduction. You just turn it on and the background noise goes away, and it was only in RX3 Advanced. Well, now it's in both versions. Um, so we pulled that down into both uh, RX4 and RX4 Advanced, so that's something. Uh, and again, if you work in a NLE, um, there's a few out there, I won't name names, but um, if you start adding audio plugins or processes, you probably are familiar, you're, you'll lose picture sync past a certain point. It might not have the right processing in place to compensate for that. Well, this doesn't do that. This is zero latency, real time. It works in all the major NLEs, as do our other plugins, too. Um, I mean, this, this plugin is a real lifesaver. I was mixing a BBC documentary uh, just last week, and the producer had recorded all the interviews in and around London. There was lots of traffic noise, and they were saying, oh, dear me, I think the BBC might reject it. I just slapped this plugin in auto on both my interview tracks, left it in auto to work it all out, so different locations, different background noise problems, that it just fixed them automatically, no worrying about setting up, no worries about learning, trimming, working it out. It just fixed it on the fly as I was mixing the documentary. Serious, serious lifesaver, and now it's in the regular version of RX4. There's a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, we could talk all day. We could listen to stuff all day. Um, you know, uh, I'm going to spare you uh, the sound of my voice for much longer. Uh, if you want to come hang out with us, uh, we can show you uh, the, the product. You can ask personal questions, hands-on questions. Um, if you want to check it out for yourself, uh, we actually do have a 10-day free trial. So if you don't believe me when I say it works in all of these programs, you can download it, install it, try it out for yourself. Um, there is currently a sale going because RX4 was launched on Thursday, so through September 25th. There's plenty of time to demo it. Um, you could uh, certainly get it there. You may also win it tonight. We're giving away a bunch of copies, which will be fun. Uh, there's at least two people here who won it last year somewhere. I met them earlier. They're waving. Perfect. <laughs> so, um, yeah, definitely uh, don't, be, don't be a stranger. And don't by any means think, it's okay, I can fix it in post now. Do your best job to record everything uh, as best as you can. I try, and yet I end up with sessions like this anyway. And uh, this is how uh, a bunch of us here in this room would, would choose to fix it. Uh, so with that said, uh, thank you for listening. Um, you know, check us out here. We're also on the Avid booth. You'll, you'll find our products are installed there uh, if you're walking around the show floor. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, see you next year. Thank you. Thank you.